Bucks County. Um, this town is Morrisville and uh, this is actually the first time we're building in Morrisville. Uh, we've built 101 homes throughout the county but we're always looking for towns that have um, good transportation system, access to uh, jobs and, and good schools. Yeah. So we were thrilled when we were able to get this piece of property. We're going to be building two homes here, uh, finishing this home sometime later this year in the fall and, and then the second home a little bit after that. Um, but, but that's the beauty of Morrisville. It has a, a good school district. It has a very great community. Yeah. Uh, the neighbors come out, um, have been very interested in the project and helping. We know that the two families here, they, they both have little children. So. Well, um, it's, it's rare for us to be able to get a blank piece of property in, in Bucks County, you know, especially in the lower half of the county. Everything is built up. So when we were given the opportunity to, to uh, obtain a piece of property that we can start from scratch, that's very special. That's very special. Yeah. Um, you know, we do also rehabs, but to be able to start from the ground up is, is great. So this is going to be a three-bedroom home, yep. uh, two-story, obviously, and um, you know, we have volunteers working out on site. Um, as Mike can explain to you later, all of our building is Energy Star rated. Our families um, pay an affordable mortgage. Um, the mortgage on this home will be in the area of $110,000. Um, so the family pays that mortgage. The market value of this home is significantly more than that. And so what is great for the community though is this family pays taxes based on the full market value. Oh, I see. That's so the, the home is sold at the full market value and sits on the books that way so neighbors can feel great about the fact that their neighbor is, you know, they're not getting any yeah. special deal here in terms of, you know, knocking down taxes, knocking yeah. down market value. And they're not lowering the market value, which right. is really, really important. Right. And so you were saying that the vast majority of the work is done through volunteers. That's right. About 70% of that home is built by volunteers. But I also know that uh, whoever owns the home, the future owners, mm -hmm. will have to put in sweat equity. That's right. That's right. So, um, you know, as I mentioned, we have the two families for this home, and what they'll do is they'll have to schedule time off from work, yeah. um, come on Saturdays yeah. or whenever their schedule allows, because they cannot buy the home until they put in um, whatever the number is. It's somewhere around 300 sweat equity hours for a two to a two parent. It's a great parent. number. If you could tell them something that they need, it will make your job easier. Mm -hmm. Something that is like, well, you know, that will help. Right? Mm -hmm. What that will be. Well, I, I it, well, the, asking people to help us um, get the word out that there is a need for to help people with affordable housing in Bucks County. I yes. think sometimes we lose track of, we live, we're very blessed, we live in a very um, affluent county, yeah. and sometimes people are surprised to find out that there are families that just need a little help in being able to afford a safe place to live. Um, and it's not, it's not that necessarily everyone in this world has to own their own home, but in Bucks County, um, there's very little rental. It's very you know, the, the waiting list for rentals um, long. is very long, wow. mm -hmm. and the cost of rentals is astronomical. We know in Bucks County, well over 40% uh, of the people are spending um, over 50% of their income on housing, and that's wow. just not healthy. Which is not okay. Right. So, um, so we just need everyone's help to, to be aware of that and to spread the word that there are organizations like Habitat that are trying to help people with that with that issue. Our volunteers don't need to be professional. I've gotten out on the build site and believe me, I'm nowhere near a professional builder. Um, so we'll take, we'll take anybody at their skill set. Um, we find we have a great construction team that um, always makes sure the volunteers have a great time. They learn how to do things, which is also a plus, not only for our families, but for volunteers to learn some, yeah. you know, some skills for around their own house. Yeah. Um, so visiting our website, you can go on there to find out, as you mentioned, about yes, you can donate, and yes, we appreciate any gift, no matter how, how large or small. Um, you can also on our website find the link to volunteer. Yeah. You just send us an email and you can get in our system to volunteer on our build site as well as in our restore. Uh, we have two restores in Bucks County. Oh. And that's um, where we sell new and gently used home furnishings and construction materials. Mm -hmm. So uh, in American Power and Gas, we really want to help families, okay? That, that's 
what we like to do, right? So we have this project called 100 Powered Families. And um, the way we want to do it is by helping families save money on energy. It's something very simple to do. It's not hard and you don't have to actually change your lifestyle, okay? Um, so we provided with some materials for you. I'm going to show you how to use it. And um, I would like to take a look inside of the house now.